Well, a scoreboard that certainly is emblematic of the performance we saw from both the Ohio State Buckeyes and the host Michigan State Spartans. What a terrific afternoon of men's soccer in East Lansing. What did you like about the show we saw? I really liked how Coach John Bloom's team responded to going down a goal in the second half. They fought, Coach Bloom made a couple tactical adjustments through his substitutions, and they were able to provide the spark needed to get that 1-1 draw. Hey, there's a lot of promise with the young talent that we saw on both sides of the ball, in particular from the Ohio State Buckeyes, but it was the Michigan State Spartans who got on the board first. We see it, Thalen to Montague, and a similar header to the one he scored last weekend against Northwestern, getting the Spartans on the board first. Ohio State answered a few minutes later. Agaya Pong was the spark in the second half to another second half substitute, Ivancic, for the low goal with 80, in the 84th minute. A couple of young guys getting in on it for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Stat-wise, how about the number of shots? Insane. We talked about it being more akin to a hockey game between the two programs than a soccer. I will say that Ivancic and Ivanov were two of the keys for me today for the Buckeyes. Ivanov with a fantastic game and goal. We've seen some surprising results throughout the course of the weekend. Are you surprised about what we saw this afternoon? I'm a little bit surprised that Michigan State only scored one. However, that being said, Ivanov has displayed such confidence all season, it's not that shocking. Penn State enjoys the undefeated record right now but there are a lot of teams who want a piece of the action when it comes to finishing first at the end of the season and we saw two of those teams this afternoon final score ohio state won michigan state won in double overtime